Let's play with lightning. I've got this Keegan North poster design I did the other day, and I just downloaded this lightning photo from unsplash.com. This was taken by Brandon Morgan. Unsplash.com, by the way, I get a lot of my free stock images from that website. They're totally free to use for pretty much anything you do, as long as you're not just like taking the photo and selling it. So the way to add lightning to your designs, other than first finding a lightning photo, is to use these blend modes. Now when you use screen, it will take out all the dark tones of the image that you're using. So you can now move this photo around and you know put the lightning in different spots. In this design, we have the light coming from this side. So I'm actually gonna flip this image. So instead of streaking from the left, it's gonna streak from the right. And we'll go up to edit, transform, flip horizontal to do that. So now we have this bright flash of lightning coming from the right side. And this is fine, but it still has that blue tone from the original image, which is on a dark blue background. So I would go up to image adjustments and black and white. That'll change the design to black and white. So now when we set it to screen, we're not getting any outside color that wasn't in our original design or wasn't intended. We still have some gray, obviously, so you can go back in to the black and white filter and decrease the blues here. And that's just gonna create more contrast and really bring the focus to this flash of lightning. If you wanted a less intense lightning effect, you can always reduce the opacity on the entire lightning layer and just make it kind of a more subtle flash that's going through to the design as opposed to super harsh. Now, if you want to change the color of this lightning, what we can do is add a gradient map on top of it that's only affecting the lightning layer. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this just so we don't get lost. And then going down to my adjustments, going up to gradient map. And now I'm going to hold option and click on the space between the layers to clip it to the lightning. So right now it's only affecting our lightning layer. Obviously, this is not the gradient map we want. So if you just start with a simple black to white gradient, that's just a black and white image, which is what we have right now. And if we change the white to, let's eyedropper this pink, then we get some, some pink lightning. And you can you know click around the image that you're working with to see what makes sense to you. But this is the, the general idea to change your lightning color, I would recommend using gradient maps. And we can control the lightning a little bit more. Maybe we don't want it coming down all the way here through those words. So I'm gonna put a mask on the lightning by clicking this mask icon and then hitting B for my brush and switching it to black. I'm gonna mask out just by clicking this lower lightning and maybe we can bring the opacity back up and it'll still look pretty good. Yeah, so then we just have lightning coming from the top right and just kind of in our middle part of the design, which I think is what we want here. And if you want some more lightning, you can always duplicate the lightning layer with Command J and then take your new lightning layer and maybe this is a, a white one that we use, maybe like just in this corner, kind of on top here, you know, whatever you want to do and kind of frame the name up top. But you know, you can have a mix of white and colored lightning, however you want to do it. That should give you a general sense of how to use lightning in your designs.